In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to trim and extend in Revit 2024. And for the purpose of this training, I'll be using Revit 2024. The method is the same, irrespective of the version of Revit we are using. Now, trim and extend are the same as far as Revit is concerned. So this is the icon for extend. This one is multiple extend or trim. And this one is single extend or trim. In AutoCAD, extend is different from trim but in Revit, both of them are together and this is how it will work if i want to extend this wall if i want to extend this particular wall to this wall all i need to do is to go to modify tab you will not see this icon until you go to modify tab so go to modify tab, select this, then click on the target where you want it to go before you click on the object. You see it will go there. Then I can click on empty space, then click on where I want it to go again and you see it goes there. Right now, let's see the trim version of it. Let's see the trim version of it. I just need a word somewhere here to show you the example of the trim. Okay, now I have this extra word that I don't want. I have this extra that I don't want. I want to actually cut this one off. I want to cut this one off. And I want this one to remain. So what I need to do is simply select trim icon, then click on the target. That is where you want it to stop. Then you are now going to go back and click on the part that you want it to remain. Please take note of these parts. All right. If I want to cut this one off, while the trim icon is selected, I click on the target where I want it to cut it to, then click the part that I want it to remain, and it will cut the other part off. I'm sure this is clear enough. What if I want to cut this part off? I simply select the icon any of these can work. The only difference here is this one is single. Okay. If I use this now, I click on the target and I click on the part that I want it to remain. And here you go. I click on empty space again. Click here and click on the part that I want it to remain. You can see trim extend work together if i want to extend it to this line click the targets and click the object and you see you, you can see the difference between multiple and single now if it were to be multiple i can continue to be going like that but because this is single i have to click the target again and click the object I believe this video is clear enough for you to understand how to trim and extend in Revit. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video. Bye.